Hi, this is Gabriel and I'm currently traveling in Uzbekistan. I'm launching new content every week, so if you want to see more of this amazing country, just choose to be notified when a new video is out. I would definitely appreciate that. Today's episode is dedicated to the Toshkent Metro, one of the best metro systems in the world. And no, I'm not lying, not even a tiny bit, you will see. No matter on which website you look, if you search for top 10 things to do in Toshkent, you will definitely find Visit the Metro there on the list. The Toshkent Metro is not just a way to move from A to B, but a real highlight on its own. And how much will this activity cost you? Only 12 cents! Yeah, you heard it right! For just 12 cents, you can ride the metro and visit as many stations as you like. Unfortunately, I did not visit all the 30-something metro stations, so if your favorites are not on the list, it's probably because I didn't get there. But next time I'm in the city, I'll make sure I'll check more of them. And before we start, apologies in advance for my pronunciation of Uzbek names, it's most likely not going to be very accurate. <laughs> Alright, let the countdown begin. At number 10 we have Buyu Kipak Yoli. It's not one of the famous stations in Tashkent, and I only got to visit it because it was rather near my hotel. But it was the very first station I got to see in the Uzbek capital, so I felt like I had to include it. It looks like a brutalist Soviet station, but it's very interesting nevertheless. Probably doesn't look anything like the metro in your city, does it? At number 9, I chose Amir Timur Hioboni. It's a very central metro stop, always crowded, nicely decorated, and most likely every tourist will reach this one at least once during their trip because it's very near Hotel Uzbekistan, Amir Timur Square, and many other attractions. And also as a plus, Amir Timur is an interchange station, so since you're here, you can easily visit Yunus Rayabi as well, but that's gonna be later in our top 10. Number 8. Pushkin. Of course, another very Soviet metro station. It has a beautiful ceiling, I love the lights and the very relaxed atmosphere. And because of its placement on the map, Pushkin station is uh, most of the times rather empty. So if you want your metro photographs to have just a few people or even no people at all, come to Pushkin station, wait a little bit and you're gonna have that amazing photo that you wanted. Named after a famous Uzbek poet, Gafur Bulom metro station is one of my favorites here in Tashkent because of this rather greenish, let's say turquoise, look. Not only it's very pretty, but this metro station is uh, also very practical. There are a lot of uh, points of interest around, including a lot of madrasas, the Hizrati Imam complex, and also my favorite Lagbon place in town. So make sure you check this one out. Did you enjoy the video so far? If so, please make sure you leave a comment. I really appreciate these. I try to respond to all of them and uh, if not, at least to most of them. <laughs> so yeah, send me your feedback, advice or questions. I look forward to it. And let me know what kind of videos would you like to, to see in the future because uh, it's gonna be a lot of Uzbek ones, this I can tell you. This is number six, Pachtakova Metro. The station is dedicated to one of Uzbekistan's main sources of income, which is the cotton industry. Hopefully this will change soon, as it's not so environmentally friendly. 
but I heard they aim for tourism to become the main source of uh, economic growth. So here I am, promoting Uzbekistan. Anyway, the metro station is very beautifully decorated, located in the city center, close to many attractions, so it's definitely worth a visit. That was number 6, Pachtakwa. At number 5 we have Yunus Rayabi station, the one I mentioned before. It's a rather new one, only opened in 2001, but it's also one of the imposing metro stops, with its very high ceiling, and uh, because of this set of stairs, it offers you more angles for amazing photographs. check these huge marble pillars, really amazing. You cannot really miss this one, as it's an interchange station connected to Amir Timur metro, like I told you earlier in the video. So yeah, I'm sure most of you Tashkent tourists will get to see the station at least once during this day. Speaking of unmissable stops, at number 4 we have Toshkent. Most of you visiting Uzbekistan will probably leave the capital sooner or later for Samarkand, Bukhara or Khiva. And when you leave Toshkent, probably the most tempting uh, mean of transportation is the train. Especially because the trains are very well developed in Uzbekistan and uh, yeah, it's quite an adventure. So where do you take the train from? The main train station, which is connected to Toshkent metro stop. So that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure you won't miss this spectacular station. And it's good because it's one of the best they have in the capital. There are a lot of gorgeous white and blue murals inside. Pretty Soviet style pillars, plus a huge emblem at every entrance. On the third spot, we have Mustakilik Maidoni. The Independent Square. It's one of the most lavish looking stations in Tashkent. Amazing ceiling with star patterns, beautifully decorated columns, and check these chandeliers. It kind of feels like a ballroom. It reminds me of, I don't know, Vienna on New Year's Eve. It's not really what you'd expect a metro station to look like, right? This station is near Angkor Park. And as the name says, right next to the Independence Square. So you have some stuff to visit around as well. Don't miss it. Fun fact, until 2018, it was not allowed to film inside the Metro because it had also served as a nuclear bomb shelter. So consider yourself lucky that nowadays you can enjoy these beauties and also photograph them to show your friends back home. I'm gonna give the silver medal to Alisha Navoy. Named after the most important Uzbek writer from the Timurid Empire, Alisha Navoy station is one of the most spectacular ones in Tashkent. Amazing blue domes, golden patterns, a design that reminds us of uh, the madrasas and mosques we saw and will see in Uzbekistan, also murals with scenes from Navai's poems. So if you were wondering what these murals were about, yeah, it's about uh, Alisha Navai's poems. Impress your friends with this piece of knowledge. If you only have time to visit one or two metro stations in Tashkent, uh, be sure to include this one because it's really spectacular, pretty central, easy to reach, so don't miss it. It's really beautiful. Even if you're not much into metro in general, be sure to check this one. And finally, number one, my favorite metro station in Tashkent is Kosmonautar. When it comes to design, probably Alisha Navoy is everyone's favorite, but I had to give the number one spot to this one because, 
Well, it's dedicated to the most important Soviet cosmonauts. We have here the very first cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin. The first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova is also here. We have Volkov, so I would mention Soyuz 11, you know, the only three men who actually died in space. There is this mural dedicated to Glavni Constructor. He designed and built uh, the rockets that sent Sputnik, Laika, Yuri Gagarin and Valentina Tereshkova into space. We have a lot of interesting stuff here. It kind of looks like a museum and not a metro station. And because it's dedicated to these people who dedicated their lives, I would almost say sacrificed their lives for science and exploring the outer space, I think it's the most important metro station in Tashkent. And it's very pretty as well. And these murals are exceptional. And if you read some names and don't know much about it, or if you hear a bit of a story and you want to learn more, there's always Google for that. But this station inspires you to want to know more. And uh, this is always good. I really appreciate it. Kosmonauta, the best, most beautiful metro station in Tashkent. That's my number one. And that was my top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what else I should do in Tashkent. Or maybe it's time to move to a new destination. Alright, cheers. I'll see you in the next one.